If you've tried building websites on high levels, you probably started by using one of the templates from the template library, only to find out that the website looked cheap and looked just like everyone else's. You then probably tried to build one from scratch, only to find the website editor a little bit tricky, overwhelming, and because you don't understand UX or UI, nor do you even care to know as a marketer or a business owner, you found out that your website was a little bit tricky to design. Well, a few days ago, high level dropped two new features that are going to make it easier for marketers and businesses to build better websites. So let's jump into my computer i'll show you what these features are and how you can use them to build a website like a pro all right so let me show you both features and how i would use them to build better websites on high level the second feature is a game changer on my opinion but for now let's start with brand boards so on a high level what you'll do is go to the marketing tab and then click here where it says brand boards to show you a live example let me actually go to my actual brand board for my own company uniflow so in this case you see that there's logos colors and typography and why these are useful is because in my case let's say i was building a website a funnel for my company in the past what i had to do is set up all of my colors images and fonts in the beginning like i've shown in a different video now what this is so cool is that very easily you'll have access to your colors and logos and i'll show you in just a bit what these are but now let me show you how to build one live so what you'll do is if you don't have any this will be blank you can just click new right here and there's different templates that you can use if you want right now i'm going to start one from blank let me just click this right here hit continue and now you'll see that this is what it looks like step one is to actually select our logo so in your case let's say you had a full logo and one that is just an icon here's where you'll be able to add them so let me just go ahead and add two logos very quickly here you see that i have my two logos let's pretend that i was helping a cleaning company build their website and what i've done here is added both both logos their primary and their icon logo right here the next step is to select my company colors a cool site that i like to use to select my colors is this one coolers.co so in this case let's say that my first color was this off-white so i'll just copy that hex code go back to high level click on here where it says colors and add my first color so i'll just do that very quickly then go back to coolers.co select my second color paste it here just like that and then give it a name if i want if I wanted to add another color, I can just click this right here and go ahead and add it. So let's say that gray is my new color. So I have the three colors right here. The next step would be to click on the typography. And if I have specific fonts that I want to use for my websites and so on, I'll be able to add them right here. So let's say for my headlines, I'm going to be using Montserrat. And for my paragraphs, I'm going to be using Enter. That's how very easily I would be able to create a brand board. This is cool as you won't have to request this assets manually. We actually had one of our clients give us his images, colors, and so on using a brand board on his sub account. What I'll do now is hit save and set it as default and you'll see why in just a sec. Now what I'm gonna do is start building a website and show you how these brand boards are useful and easy to use. I am on this cleaning website. What I'm gonna do now is use the brand boards to change the colors, set up the logos and everything on this site. If I was to click on this menu item right here, let's say I wanted to change this logo, I can go down here click on brand image and here you see that there's a few folders one of them being brand boards this is something that was just created I'll click this right here and any brand boards that you've created you will be able to see them right here in this case the one that we created just now is brand board 3 so I'll click this right here and you'll see that I have my images so what I can do very easily is click on this right here and that's how very easily I would have access to those assets to start building my website which makes it very easy for me to add logos to this website right here in terms of the colors let's say I wanted to change the colors of this website to my actual brand colors the easiest way to do this is for instance click on this button and here where it says background color if I click this right here you will now see that there's this brand colors right here so it's very accessible very easy very cool you can still add custom colors if you want right here but you don't have to just because you have the brand colors very easily accessible so if I just click this right here I'm starting to use this company's assets like colors and logos to make sure that the website is on brand and follows their branding guidelines to build a better more consistent website Website. The second feature that High Level dropped makes it so that it's very easy for you to build a nice site without having to use their ugly templates. So right now, the way that we used to build websites as a template is you would just click this right here, hit continue, and then select one of these boring templates which look corporate and cheap. What you can do now is click on new site, build from blank. Let me add a new page very quickly and show you what this looks like. So in the past, when I was building a new website and I wanted to start building a hero section, what I would do is click this right here, do full width, then add a one column row, add a headline, then a subheadline, 
and then a button and then have to start selling this right here a lot of the times especially if you're new this process might be a little bit overwhelming now there's this cool thing called pre-built sections so if you take a look at your menu right here you'll see this new option you can just click this right here and what you'll see is pre-built sections so you can drag and drop into your website so very easily let's say i wanted to start building a website what i could do is click this right here and now i have a pre-built section that i can very easily start changing even delete some of the stuff if you don't need it so very easily high level is making it so that building websites under editor is easier than ever if you click on this right here there's like different categories there's welcome about and you see like what these different sections are you can very quickly go to let's say testimonials drag and drop it just like this and then you'll see how very easily you have a very nice layout that you can start changing and optimizing to your preference now of course with this pre-built sections you can still add custom effects make it so that it stands out and is a little bit different i'm sure a lot of people are going to start using these pre-built sections so the way that i would use them is i would use them as starting guides and then from there start iterating changing the backgrounds the colors the feel just because in the same way that with the templates that you see on the template library everyone uses the same templates you want to make sure that yes you use them to save time but at the same time make them a little bit more unique to make sure that not only your website stands out but it's unique to your brand and your company now if you are a business or an agency that is trying to build better websites on high level websites that look beautiful premium high-end i have this stock with all of my go high level web design resources tutorials things that i add for my websites to make sure that they stand out they beat the competition click the link in the description and get access to this document any new tutorials that i add you will see so you'll always have the latest go high level web design tutorials